YouTube, what's up? 1992 Patro here. I haven't made an update on a lot of the reptiles in a while. So I decided to do a boa constrictor update today. Got a Argentine Colombian hybrid boa in here. You can see her right here. She's a big girl too. Absolutely stunning colors and iridescence on her scales. You can see by my hand on her. A good sized snake. Alright, this cage does not have any lights. You're looking at the top of the cage, which is why it's all black. This cage is made by Boa File. I purchased it directly off of their website. Excellent, excellent, excellent quality cage. I purchased it with a pre-installed undercage heater, which I hooked up to a thermostat that I already had. So as you can see, her cage is... 89 degrees currently and the temperature probe is sitting right here underneath she sits on reptile carpet and oddly enough it doesn't look like it is but this cage actually is holding a pretty decent amount of humidity right now the cage is six foot by two foot by seventeen and a half inches it is gigantic she could almost fully stretch out in this cage, even though she is a tiny bit longer than the cage. And she's got more than enough room to coil up, as you can see. She's a good girl. You're a good girl. She's so cute, too, because she's got that little mustache. <laughs> Alright. She also eats, uh... A lar she eats a jumbo rat two times a week as well. Oh man, I'm just looking at the camera screen and I see all the iridescence right here. Looks fantastic. Oh, it looks like it's gone away now. But yeah, no. This snake has some incredible iridescence. She is also hypomelanistic. So as you can see, her colors are quite a bit brighter than your average. Uh, boa constrictor and especially a little bit brighter than a uh, Argentine boa. If you want to get a little close, you can see the back of her tail, her tail area there. She has a lot of black speckling and it disappears upwards around her head and then she's got a whole bunch of speckles on her face. Her colors are very tan and brown, as you would expect a hypo boa to look. But as she goes farther back, it's kind of like she's got the very bright tan colors that you would expect a hog island or maybe even a pearl island to have. Either way, a truly amazing looking snake purchased from Triple L Reptile three years ago. They did an excellent job on shipping her as well, I recommend it. So yeah, here we go. Brand new boa file. Snake outgrew it, her old cage. And it has the double opening doors, which I opted for instead of one single gigantic opening door. So you can see both of her doors are currently down. Black hinges, black handles for the doors. And if you listen, they click right into place without any hesitation. Very simple. The cage going together was, it came in two halves and it went together very quickly with nothing more than four bolts. Oh, there you go. Cage doors are up. I'm pretty sure she wants the camera out of her face now. So, there you go. Boa constrictor and a brand new six foot by two foot by seventeen and a half inch tall boa file. I highly recommend the boa file cages. Jeff did an excellent job. Have a great day.